Hi, I'm Holly Shockley and this is Kevin Owen and today we're going to talk about online counseling. Is it good? Is it bad? If I find an organization that offers counseling at a super reduced rate versus the counselors in my area, should I even take it? And um, what's the buzz? What's the buzz about online counseling? It's, uh, it's the world we're in. Uh, things have changed. Uh, whenever COVID happened, everything went on screens and we found out that it works. A lot of my friends are, have no intention of returning to seeing patients on the couch across from them. Uh, but I think that there's a lot lost there. Personally, I prefer the in-person counseling round. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's a, um, a neuropsychiatrist, Kurt Thompson, my favorite, and he does um, a lot with interpersonal neurobiology. And he says, when you're in the room with somebody, there's actually mirror neurons firing in our brains between one another that's shaping our brains because of the interaction. And I did, I read a research study after all the Zoom stuff started happening, and we actually don't get the same amount of neuro uh, transmitters that are processing when we're looking at a flat screen. So I do think there's a value. Some of my clients who aren't feeling well or they overbooked themselves that day, they'll ask to jump on a, an online session and it's no big deal. But the majority of our interaction with one another is on the couch and face to face, um, which I think is a high value of, uh, well, the society that we live in, we need more of it. And so it's a high value of in-person counseling. It's uh, like we were created for a relationship or something like, the relationship is the biggest part of the therapeutic alliance that causes mm -hmm. change. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> there is something lost in looking at a screen right now, as dynamic as this video is, it's not the same as if you were in the room with us and we were interacting with you. Uh, never once have I watched the TV and walked away feeling like somebody understood me or had connected to me. And uh, because you know, as well as I do that when I'm on a zoom call, that whatever's happening here mm -hmm. uh, isn't necessarily seen there. And so we're kind of wiry, we're kind of uh, bouncy in the way we approach things. How much would you say comparatively you're giving to the screen versus what you're giving to the person you're in a room with? And it should be a higher amount. Yeah, I think, you know, whenever we have screens that we're doing counseling on, it impedes my ability as a counselor to read nonverbals. Um, because people's hands can be down here and I never see what's happening. Their legs can be tapping and shaking and they're anxious or they've talked about something that is, you know, a trigger for them and I will never get to see what the rest of their body's doing. So I feel like, um, to get the whole, um, the whole process through counseling, I need to be in person with my clients. So there's a high value of that in the work that I do. There's a, I see a lot of teenagers. And the cool thing about teenagers today is they can be in a in a group chat they can be getting snaps they can be getting messages on their instagram or their their TikTok. they could be tweeting uh this past tense of tweeting um they could be uh they could be getting text messages and they'll all report that they never feel lonely mm -hmm. uh, like that's not true at all it's higher levels of loneliness than we've ever seen before meta connection does not take the place of true connection mm -hmm. uh, your your kids who are texting you from their bedroom while you're in the kitchen uh, that isn't causing people to feel more connected it's causing them to feel less connected because well, maybe those mirror neurons that are that cause you to feel like you're a part of something yeah, and so if you want to come to in-person counseling and you would like to process what that even looks like and call Kevin or I at Holly at Thrive Christian Counseling, we'd love to work with you. There's, uh, I'm gonna jump in because yeah. I, I do wanna be very clear. If you have to do uh, video screen counseling, do it. It's better than not doing counseling. Mm -hmm, that's true. Uh, but it's not better than not getting counseling at all. And, and I don't know about you, Kevin, but before the pandemic, nobody in my group offered online counseling. Um, that was, we knew it existed, but it wasn't, we, we wanted to do the in-person work. And now post COVID, I think it is a positive thing that has happened. We do offer it as, um, if we have clients who drive from Stillwater or other places, it takes them more than an hour to get to us. And 
maybe every other time they'll do a, an online session. And so we do offer that. And I think that that's a huge thing, but we want to be able to see our clients in the, in the office.